Hello, this is Dr. Budweiser, and I am coming to you directly from the Wiser Living Headquarters. Today, I'd like to talk about sunflower microgreens. Sunflowers offer, inc offer incredible health benefits, but the problem is it's difficult to find fresh sunflower sprouts. So we decided to grow our own. And believe it or not, it is very easy to do it. Sunflower sprouts, or any sprouts for that matter, is like good natural medicine for your cells and tissues and organs and organ systems like the gastrointestinal system, the nervous system, the respiratory system, your nervous system, urinary system, basically all of the systems of your body. It's just good food for you. I mean, really, really good food for you. Sprouts are rich in oxygen, which protects against abnormal cell growth. Uh, the nutrients in sprouts support you know, cellular regeneration. They're loaded with antioxidants. They're loaded with minerals. They're loaded with vitamins. They're loaded with enzymes that protect against free radical damage. Sprouts help protect you against viruses and bacteria that cannot survive in an oxygen-rich environment. Sprouts have about 100 times more enzymes than raw fruits and vegetables. That's incredible, which will get your body to extract more vitamins and extract more minerals and extract more amino acids and essential fats from what you eat. As a matter of fact, during sprouting, minerals such as calcium and magnesium will actually bind to protein, making them more available to be absorbed into your body. This is serious stuff. The sprouts that we grow are organic, they're non-GMO, they're fresh, and they are free of pesticides. You can grow them in your backyard, on your patio if you live in an apartment or flat. You can even grow them in your kitchen, which means you know exactly, exactly what you are eating. All you need is access to sunlight. A pan like, uh, like, like this one with some holes in it, water, and a bag of organic uh, potting mix and some sunflower seeds. Of course, the sunflower seeds, don't forget that. The best and cheapest seeds to get are called uh, black oil sunflower seeds. You can find these almost anywhere from Walmart and garden centers to Amazon and other online stores. But just in case, we have included a link below so you can purchase them as well. When it comes to locally grown green foods, sprouts are it. So, Here's how to grow sunflower microgreens. Step one is to take about approximately three cups of sunflower seeds, and we use three cups because it'll fit in here. And then you soak them overnight in a bowl of water. Step two, drain and rinse them in a sieve about three to four times, and then place them back in the bowl and cover them with a moist kitchen rag so these little seeds can actually breathe. Repeat this process you know, a couple of days, one or two days, until you begin to see these little white sprouts coming out of the ends of the seed. What you're actually seeing are the roots growing. And once the majority of the seeds have sprouted, it's time to plant them. The next step, step three, is you want to, you want to find somewhere to plant the seeds. An easy and cost-effective solution is to use a rectangular roasting tray and poke some holes in it like this. And you're poking the holes in there for the drainage. <laughs> you got to drain. If it doesn't drain, it's not going to live. Cover the bottom of the tray with about an inch of the organic potting mix. Then add a dense layer of the sunflower seeds. It's okay if they overlap. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then lightly press them into the soil. Then cover the seeds with another layer of potting mix. Just enough to cover all of the seeds. Now step four. Cover the soil and seeds with some uh, flattened, you know, paper like this. You know, don't use newspaper because the ink contains toxins, so you definitely don't want to use that. Wet it completely until the water is dripping through, through the, the bottom of the pan. You may have to do this several times to completely soak the paper. Next, you make sure that the paper does not dry out. After a day or two, you can start to see these little green sprouts poking up out of the soil, and now you can remove the paper. Step five, water the soil uh, once or twice a day. We live in a drier climate here, so we definitely water twice daily. 
Keep watering until you see the shells start to drop off the new green leaves. When you see two large leaves and two tiny leaves, it's time to harvest them. This can take five to seven days, you know, anywhere from five to seven days. And here's what they actually look like when you do that. Bam! Isn't this like amazing? This is amazing. Amazing. Let me see. Um, let me see here. Pick. Here's what a perfect one looks like. See the two large leaves and the two little tiny leaves in there? This is a perfect one. You know, this is like a perfect one. So, there you go. And here's what they look like. Let's see if I can find one. Here's what, what they look like if they're uh, not perfect. The, the, now, the, this here has gone too far. Can you see that? Perfect? Not perfect. See, I can see we should have harvested them a couple of days ago, but we really wanted you to see, see them today. Now, I'm going to get a pair of scissors here. Cut some at the base. Like this. And it's, you know, you can put these in your salad, you can put them in a sandwich, or you can just eat them all by, their, by themselves. They're really, really tasty. Get these out of my hands before I cut myself. This is, this is a, a living whole food. Sunflower sprouts are high in fiber. They're high in uh, protein, essential fatty acids. So it's packed with nutrients. It's good for the gut health, uh, calms your nerves, and it balances pH. This is good stuff to eat. You will not regret it. So try it. Just try it. And um, for more information, great information, check out the link below. And remember, remember this. Let your food be your medicine and your medicine be your food. Let me eat some of these. Mm. Should be cutting these things up. They're good. You want some of these? You can grow them yourself. Good stuff. Mm. There's no reason why you can't grow these. I know I shouldn't be talking with my mouth full of potent greens, but this is good. Amazing. So let me just get a little bit more. Can you taste it? Okay, this is Dr. Budweiser. And we'll see. Oh, I don't want that. This is Dr. Budweiser, and I'll see you next time.